In a world filled with cookie-cutter car designs, the automotive industry thrives on pushing boundaries and exploring the limits of imagination. Such was the case when Mazda unveiled the Furai, a concept car that embodied futuristic aesthetics, cutting-edge engineering, and the spirit of motorsports. The Furai was a testament to Mazda's relentless pursuit of innovation and design excellence. So let's talk about it. In the late 2000s, Mazda set out to redefine its design language with a fresh approach. Famed stylists Franz von Holthausen and Lawrence van den Acker joined the team and together they gave birth to the Nagari philosophy. Nagari meaning flow in Japanese, symbolizing a design ethos inspired by the natural world's beauty and motion. The Nagari series of concepts began in 2006, marking a new chapter in Mazda's design evolution. The Ryuga and Akaze followed, paving the way for the final and most remarkable concept, the Furai which was unveiled at the 2008 North American International Auto Show in Detroit. Now the Mazda Furai was unlike any other concept car. While it possessed the graceful lines inspired by the Nagare design language, it was far from a mere stylistic exercise. The Furai was built upon the Courage C65 LMP2 chassis used in the American Le Mans series during 2006 and 2007. The heart of the Ferrari was a monocoque chassis that combined aluminium alloy and carbon fiber. Its suspension featured double wishbone, pushrods and horizontally mounted dynamic shock absorbers. This lightweight construction, inspired by Le Mans prototypes, was designed for high speed performance. Despite its racing pedigree, the Ferrari's design was a harmonious blend of road legal supercar and Le Mans prototype. It exuded a road car sensibilities while maintaining the aggressive stance of a racing machine. This fusion of design and function hinted at the potential for a street legal version and people all around the world hoped for a possible production version in the future. Now stepping inside the Ferrari, one would instantly recognize that this was a thoroughbred race car. Weight savings was of paramount concern evident in the two slim carbon fiber bucket seats equipped with racing harnesses. The Sparco designed motorsport steering wheel further emphasized the car's racing heritage. But this is a Le Mans inspired race car, and I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Mazda actually competed in N1 Le Mans back in the 90s with a 4 rotor 787B and with the Ferrari. Honoring the legacy of the iconic 787B, the Ferrari was equipped with a mid-mounted rotary engine. But unlike the 787's awe-inspiring 4-rotor engine, the Ferrari featured a slightly smaller, naturally aspirated 3-rotor power plant known as the R20B Renesis. Developed by renowned road retuning specialists, Racing Beat, the R20B Renesis was based on the Ineos Cosmos 20B REW, the only three-rotor engine ever installed in a production car. Running on pure ethanol, biofuel developed by BP, this engine generated 450 horsepower, which combined with the car's swell weight of just 675 kilograms, this car had an exhilarating acceleration. The Ferrari could sprint from 0 to 60 in just 3.2 seconds. But let's be honest, this thing is designed for corners, not acceleration. By the way, small easter egg on the car, the exhaust is designed to look like one of the rotors of the rotary engine, which is a cool touch. Anyways, as I said, the Ferrari was not merely a static showpiece, it was designed to hit the track. Extensive testing was conducted on various circuits including the iconic Laguna Seca and Buttonwillow. Thanks to its futuristic get aerodynamic body, which incorporated a front splitter, a prominent rear spoiler, and a fuser, the Ferrari produced substantial downfalls while maintaining a low drag coefficient. This combination allowed it to navigate tight corners with breathtaking agility. Lawrence Van Acker, the head designer at the time, revealed Master's ambition to adapt the Ferrari for official endurance racing, possibly even vying for a place at the 24 Hour of Le Mans which would be awesome given the history at the track. By the way, I made an in-depth video on Mazda and the process that went into the victory in 1991. So if you guys would like to see it, you can go and watch it after this one. 
Shameless plug out of the way, so let's continue. Despite the Ferrari's promising future, fate had a cruel twist in store. In August 2008, the concept was flown to England for additional tests and a photo session organized by Top Gear. At the former Royal Air Force Bentwaters Airfield, Mark Tyshurst, an experienced British race car driver, was behind the wheel. When disaster struck, the Ferrari's three-rotor engine unexpectedly caught fire. Tyshurst managed to exit the vehicle just in the nick of time, but the blaze consumed the car. Firefighters were unable to arrive in time to save the car and it was reduced to ashes. Master conducted an extensive investigation into the incident, but the exact cause was never publicly disclosed. Speculation points to the novel fuel system and the highly flammable ethanol fuel as potential factors. The demise of the Ferrari was a heartbreaking loss for the automotive world. Its striking beauty, remarkable performance and the unfulfilled potential of racing glory left a void that has never been fully replaced. While the Ferrari made an unfortunate end, its spirit lives on in the hearts of enthusiasts and as a symbol of Mazda's unceasing pursuit of innovation and design excellence. The Ferrari remains etched in automotive history as a reminder of what could have been a vision that dared to dream beyond convention. At the end of the video, please let me know what you guys thought of the video number one and what you guys think of the Mazda Ferrari. I think this is an awesome looking race car. The taillights just look out of this world. I love the back end of these things. And it's sad that it, the only concept that ever was went up in flames. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the video and let me know what you guys think of the car. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll most probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?